Let me test your knowledge. Mm -hmm. Burning a balloon with a thousand degree flame, it will burst. So? The question is, facing a thousand degree flame, which material can protect the balloon the longest? A. Ten layers of aluminum foil. B. A wet towel. C. Cabbage leaf. D. Potato slice. Which one? Huh? I'll go with cabbage because that sounds tedious. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Both of you are silly. Obviously, <laughs> a wet towel works best when fighting fire. Let's prove it with a scientific experiment. First, the aluminum foil. Ready? Go! It must take a while to run through the ten layers of foil. What? Five seconds. Useless. Next. Second, a wet towel. Ready? Go! Ten seconds. Fifteen seconds. Did you see that? It's awesome! Let's see how long it can hold up. Wet towel, 50 seconds. It looks like water plays a significant role. It must be the winner! That's the cabbage leaf, which also has water. Now the cabbage leaf. Hang in there! Hang in there! Hang in there! Hang in there! I bet it won't last over 60 seconds. Will it last longer than the wet towel? Cabbage leaf, 37 seconds. Yes! I won! <laughs> Hang on, let's move on to the potato slice. Uh -huh. Why bother? How can this thin piece outlast a wet towel? Remember, practice is the sole criterion of truth. Let's continue. If it outlasts a wet towel, I'll eat it raw. Let's eat. Ready? Go. The potato smells good. <laughs> Look, it's burnt. It can't even protect itself let alone the balloons. Don't underestimate the potato. Though it's not insulated due to its high starch content, it forms a highly insulated char layer when exposed to high temperature. A principle similar Ooh. to aerospace material. So even though it can't protect itself, it can protect the balloon and keep it intact. One hundred seconds. You must have done something to the balloon. Let's have the experimenter verify it. 